Thank you, Tony. Also new at 530 tonight, former state Senator Nicholas Kettle entered a no contest plea in court today. His trial lasted a little more than a day. The judge gave him a three year suspended sentence, meaning he won't be behind bars on these charges. He declined a plea deal at first, but new tonight, his lawyers tell us why Kettle decided to change his mind. Iowa News reporter Sheena Lashuto was in the courtroom today. She joins us now live from Kent County Court. Sheena. Well, we were in court all day today, and we were also here yesterday for day one of the trial. Only one witness testified things did not get very far at all. And now today, Kittle says he no longer wants to continue with this trial. His team says it's for the sake of all of the families involved. Um, I would like to apologize. Former state senator Nicholas Kettle addresses the court Wednesday, saying sorry to both his ex-girlfriend's family and his own. The 28-year-old entered a no-contest plea on what was supposed to be day two of his video voyeurism trial. Out of respect for the complaining witness, her family, and Mr. Kettle's family, Mr. Kettle felt that this was best at this time to resolve it. Nicholas Kettle. Prosecutors say Kettle took naked pictures of his then girlfriend without her knowing and sent them to his friend. The victim shared a brief statement. Since that morning, I can't even look at myself the same way, let alone wonder who else has seen me. The judge gave Kettle a three-year suspended sentence. Kettle originally faced 10 charges. As part of the plea deal, he entered no contest to two, and the other eight were dropped. Back in March, the former state senator pleaded not guilty, so we asked what changed. We never said the allegations were false. What we said was uh, that the circumstances in which these things occurred uh, we did not believe that as a matter of law that they were illegal. The attorneys say this was the best solution, sparing the families from hearing any more details in court. Along the way, i uh, been in negotiations with the state to see how to resolve this that works for all. And we were able to do so today. Now, Kettle will be on probation for those three years. And also remember, Kettle is also awaiting trial for a separate extortion case as well. We're told the same team will represent him. Reporting live in Warwick tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.